Thanks so much for joining everyone. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. You know, you've been asking to review some of the silver jewelry that I have, to look at some of the different brands that uh, some of the best in the world for silver jewelry. So today we're gonna do that. We're gonna look at three silver jewelry brands that you should know about it. I'm gonna start with my favorite one and also it's a fully custom silver jewelry brand, 13 Lucky Monkeys. 13 Lucky Monkeys, what a cool name, come on. You know, don't forget that in a hurry. You know, it was started by two amazing cool guys, um, Noli Coronado, I think I'm pronouncing his name right, and um, Dante Dyson. Uh, they came together, they created something so special. Uh, Noli is a sculptor, he's a trained sculptor, he worked, you know, for some of the big uh, names like Marvel and sculpting the action figures and uh, Dante. Dante has got an incredible artistic eye and when they came together they created something so special. These two guys, the the real deal, legit, they into biking culture and they're creating an expression of that through their work. So about um, five, six years ago, uh, my oldest daughter, she drew me a picture of a lion. And just to, you know, create something really, really special, I contacted them, 13 Lucky Monkeys, and presented my design to them. And um, it was an incredible experience. The head office was in Vancouver at that time. I, th I think it's still probably there. And it was easy to deal with was quick and um, yeah so this is the ring that um, they created for me based on my oldest daughter drawing of the lion it's super cool super heavy big it's actually four parts you've got a door knocker in bronze you got a mane of the lion in bronze the face is um, silver and then i've got a really cool special design going on for the ring itself they're fully fully custom one of a one of a kind you know they work with you they create upon you know your concept your design and they create something so stunning you can see that um Nolly, he's a sculptor he, he literally sculpted they they, they carve wax and sculpt it and create this really cool ring. My second ring from them is Half Aurora. One of my most favorite rings. It's heavy. It's big hunk of silver. You can see half skull. You know, it represents courage in line of fire to me. Um, many special forces operators, you know, scout for them is courage, scout for them to intimidate the enemy, scout for them a reminder, you know, what's important. And that's what it stands for me. And when I contacted them, they've created this piece specifically for me, but it's part of their line. This ring fully custom made specifically for me there isn't another one like it even though they will make a ring like this half aurora a half skull each ring that they create is so special so unique so specific to you so if you want to go fully custom one of a kind just for you 13 lucky monkeys amazing I'll give you another look at it. It's sculpted, it's, it's work of art. Incredible. Now, another company you should uh, know about it, and I'm sure you already do. It's synonymous with um, 
Iron Heart, these two go together somehow. Good art. When you think of good art, you think of Iron Heart. And in huge part because um, Iron Heart uh, website UK, you know, carries huge line of good art, silver jewelry. So in my hand, I have a, a necklace. Necklace by, by good art. You know, what's really, really cool about uh, good art, you could go sort of semi-custom route, where you can go on their website, you can choose chain and pair up with different pendant, you can choose a ring and pair up with different item. And uh, typically speaking, they will make it for you. It's not uh, production in stock item. There's a little bit of wait time, several weeks, and um, it's perfection. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's all hand done. It's heavy. It's big. You know, one of the amazing things about good art, I want to say this to you. It's instantly recognizable because of this design. You know, you wear this and um, it's instantly recognizable that it's good art. You know, it's not cheap, you know, you will pay good money for this, but the value that it offers, it's incredible. You know, I was, I was wearing this uh, necklace, I was just uh, doing a little bit of shopping, I was at Canadian Tire, and uh, somebody came up to me, he said, hey, I just love your necklace. What is it? It's such a cool piece. You know, it really creates a lot of style. It says something about you, you know, that, <laughs> you know, you appreciate and, and recognize, you know, quality, value, and uh, good art stands for all of that. In fact, good art, you know, um, on many top lists as a silver um, jewelry brand, uh, one of the best. And uh, yeah, I just really love it. This necklace is uh, not just <laughs> cool looking, it's very practical because it's a holder for glasses. You can hang your glasses, you can hang your sunglasses and it serves serves dual purpose being, you know, just a, a stylistic item to create a style and uh, to carry your sunglasses. Pretty cool. You know, the third company, I think everybody knows. <laughs> third company, you know, if you're in a denim community, in heritage, you know, you, you would have um, come across its clocks and colors. A Canadian company, which is pretty cool for me to review and to support. Amazing group of people, you know, uh, I have quite a few pieces from them and I really appreciate it. So um, I'll just take a little bit of time and just uh, go over it. One of the biggest thing about clocks and covers is they produce collections and they would produce a collection, uh, uh, a themed a collection of, you know, rings that would match with bracelets, will match with, with necklace, and it will be produced for um, a period of time and they will be retired and um, sometimes never brought back. So it creates an opportunity for people to collect their pieces. And uh, when the pieces, you know, are sold out um, and retired, they, they will, um, inherently increase in value. So another really cool thing uh, about clocks and covers, they use a lot of uh, gems uh, in their rings and in the um, pendants as well. And some of these gems are really cool. So I want to talk to you about um, uh, these couple cool rings. So um, these couple cool rings, they use Peter's site gem you know, which is really, really cool. Um, 
it's almost like a stone stone some refer to it because it's got this swirl almost like a circular sw swirl and it um, almost like it uh, appears to glow in certain lighting you know you know it's pretty rare gem rare stone it's actually a mineral it's uh mined you know in my research only at in two places in the world so it's quite rare and some even attribute mystical qualities to these and I think it's just incredible to use it as um, as a stone it's moody it's special it changes depending on the lighting and I think it's just really really cool so Peter's site you know they use a lot of black onyx you know, I've got uh, coronation ring, black onyx, and it's inspired by, um, you know, British culture, you know, royalty, knights. I think it's super cool. There is a beautiful design. You know, their rings, as you can see, their rings um, have tremendous amount of details. It's beautifully, expertly executed, you know, pure silver absolute perfection you know the the other uh, stone that um, I really have few rings in it and I really really like you know is turquoise stone stone and I just you know this deep rich green color just goes so well with what I'm wearing um, you know it's got a, a really cool design this particular ring, I really like it. It's got a skull. It's cool. It's got a lot of really intricate detail. It's quite big, quite heavy. It, it's amazing. A couple other um, rings I wanted to show you. The silver rings that have no stone are stunning as well. As you can see, this one's got a lot of intricate detail. The quality is just absolutely stunning and it's absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on, you know, I've got big fingers. <laughs> I, I take 13 and a half and 13, size 13 on this finger. So it fits well here. Tree of life. It's beautiful. It's amazing what it stands, what it represents. It's super cool. You know, another fun ring using um, malachite stone. This one right here, it's got a cool design. The stone is just so beautiful. It appears to glow. It has that uh, almost like a tiger eye quality to it. And it's perfectly, perfectly executed. It's amazing. The bracelets are so cool. This one is from the Samurai collection. You know, if you're into Japanese clothes, in, if you're into, you know, Samurai-inspired culture, this is so cool. And it's a picture of Geisha. The details are just stunning. There's another bracelet right here with... Uh, Cluxon Colors Star. That's another really, really cool thing that Cluxon Colors is, are doing. They're incorporating this North Star. And it's instantly recognizable as Cluxon Colors. I really love this bracelet with uh, tigers. It's amazing. So whether you're looking for something on a budget or you have a little money stash to buy something really expensive, there's three brands, 13 Lucky Monkeys will give you something special and custom. Good Art will give you something, you know, high-end, semi-customizable, something that is, you know, well-recognized and uh, well received in the in the denim community clocks and colors will give you something special 
In fact, might even get you started on collecting different silver jewelry pieces. So thank you so much, friends. I am wearing the Iron Heart shirt. This is the anniversary edition. I'm wearing Iron Heart jeans. And uh, join us next time. And I thank you so much for your support, for your encouraging words. You know, hit us up with some questions. Click like, subscribe, and join us for the next time. Thank you so much.